VTubing as of late has been getting more and more popular and as such people are getting their models and pretty much everything else ready to debut. But in all of our excitement we don't even think or even consider things that we should be doing before we even go live. So in today's video I'm going to give you my suggestions on what I think you should do before you debut and after you start your VTubing debut. Make sure you watch until the end because I guarantee you a lot of these different tips people don't even think about or consider. My name is Anubis Lives. I am your VTuber Senpai. I upload here on YouTube every Wednesday, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. On this YouTube channel, we cover anything and everything VTubing and soon to be VR related. So if you happen to like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this video or ideas for future videos. And well, subscribe. I do have a goal of a thousand subscribers by the end of 2021. So if you happen to like this content, consider smashing that subscribe button and well let's get into it what we're going to do is we're going to split up everything pre-debut and post-debut just to keep it nice and simple so let's start with the pre-debut what i've noticed a lot of people do especially throughout reddit comments and people that dm me is that they set up their obs to get all their scenes ready but they don't do any testing whatsoever. So when they do hit that go live button, their stream's super laggy and well, nothing really works right with OBS. So let's test OBS first. So right now we're at our OBS default screen. What we're gonna do is go to settings, stream, and then right here underneath the server, it says enable bandwidth test mode. We're gonna click that click apply and then click OK. What this will do is when we hit start streaming, it'll put OPS into a test environment. You're not actually going to go live, but it will test your bandwidth connection to make sure at least that's OK. So now that we click that, we're going to go to start streaming. We're going to get this pop up message. Yes, we're going to continue. We're going to let it run. See now that we're live, we're going to pull up inspector.twitch.tv it's going to ask you to log in with your credentials just do that then you'll be a-ok -okay. and then you're going to click run a stream test now if you didn't click the little button there to run bandwidth test in obs they're going to tell you to do this then you're going to have to enter that information that they tell you to enter on that screen but don't worry about it we're going to close it because we did hit that button and we're just going to give it a minute to load And right there, we just hit the refresh button. And now we see we're giving Twitch a nice stable connection. If for whatever reason this is in the yellow or the red, I would consider lowering your bit rate to maybe 4,000, 5,000, something like that. But one thing I would actually really consider doing is making an alternate YouTube or Twitch account go live on that account watch it make sure that it's not pixelated that the audio is coming in nice and clear there's no problems so when you do go live on your main account and debut everything technical wise is going to go nice and perfect making evergreen content can actually really help your debut by a crap ton if you make some evergreen content for example searchable content here on youtube and allow people to subscribe to you, get to know you a little bit through that content. When you do do that debut, you're already gonna have some followers, you're gonna have those subscribers, you're gonna have those people talking in chat, wanting to talk to you right off the bat because they got to know you a little bit. They got to connect with you in some way, shape or form. Now you don't have to do anything like VTubing tutorials, just do whatever you're good at. If that's making music, consider making music or if you're good at arts and crafts, Consider doing some arts and crafts. You don't have to use your VTubing model to do any of this, but start something, something that's searchable. So when people do search for that thing, they find you, they subscribe to you. And when you do again debut, you have that audience already there. By the way, did you know I stream at twitch.tv forward slash Lives every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5 to 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time? Come on by. Say hi. Let's talk about, you know, VTubing, anime, gaming, all that stuff. Anyway, back to the video. 
Reddit can actually really help your debut quite a bit. But what I would suggest is that you just don't go on there and post, hey guys, my debut is on this day, come check me out, blah, 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 blah. No, don't do that first. One thing I would suggest is joining a community like, for example, virtual YouTubers. Shout out to you guys. Go on there, post, reply to other people's posts, get to know the community, get to know everybody. Uh, look around, check it out, see what other people are doing for their debuts, how they're posting things. Get to know, again, people. And then post your debut in a week or so before you're about to debut. Don't do it a month or two years or whatever. Do about a week or so before you actually debut. Be like, hey guys, this is my debut day. Come check me out. You guys know me around here. Come on by, let's hang out, so on and so forth. And doing that, building that Reddit karma, building that community, getting part of that community is going to help you so, so much. So definitely join a community, get to know them. And that's going to help your debut a crap ton because you got that community wanting to be there, wanting to support you. Don't be afraid to practice streaming. Honestly, fire up a game, talk to yourself, pretend that you have an audience watching you, pretend that you have a chat talking to you, get used to talking. A lot of us are actually huge introverts. I'm, I am probably the king of introverts right now. I hate, hate talking, but by practicing while I'm not streaming helps quite a bit when I do stream, mainly because I'm used to talking to people. I'm used to talking. If chat isn't talking, at least there's no dead air. Something is always going on. Even if you're describing what you're doing in game, talk, 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 talk. That is very, very key because again, if you don't have anybody watching your stream and somebody does come in, they're going to hear you chatting away. They're going to be more inclined to chat with you and the ball just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling. So definitely practice streaming, practice talking to yourself and it'll, it'll actually benefit you quite a bit in the long run. Okay, now time for some post debut stuff. After you've done your debut, what are some things you should do? Being consistent is arguably the most important thing that you got to do in your streaming career. Think of it as your favorite television show. You know when to show up. You know what time it starts. You're going to be there. Same thing with streaming. Try to pick one or two days that you can always show up and always be there for. If now you got other days you can't show up or be there for, totally okay. I get it. You have a life. But try to do one or two days that they know you're going to be at that spot, at that time, they're going to tune in. And that's going to help you grow immensely because you're their favorite streamer. You're their favorite person to watch. So do yourself a favor by giving yourself that specific day or days and those specific time or times that you're always going to show up. Now that you debuted, post some funny clips from your stream onto Reddit. Kind of do that 10 to 1 method you know, reply to other people 10 times versus one of your posts. Again, get involved with that community. Still talk to people. Help other VTubers out that haven't debuted yet. Be a part of that. Help people out. That goes a very long way. And the more and more you do that, the more and more people that will actually come to your stream because they've, you know, checked out your profile, thought you were cool, thought you were a really nice person and want to get to know you more. Once in a blue moon, it's actually a really good idea to watch your own VODs. I highly, highly suggest that once you're done a stream, watch a little bit of it. See if there was any graphical glitches, mic quality sound issues, stuff like that. Give yourself a chance to grow and prosper by checking out your own content and making sure that everything's looking right and the way you actually want. Now, yes, I did mention before, this is something you should do pre your debut but it's something that I would actually periodically do. I do it myself where I look at my own VODs, my own streams and making sure that everything is still actually okay and working as it should. With all that being said, I would ask that you leave a comment down below on tips and tricks that you feel that your fellow brand new VTubers out there should do and try out. 
Any and all suggestions are welcome and there's really no wrong answer. Again, these are my opinions on things I feel you should do that would actually really help you out to, well, start. Again, I'm Anubis Lives. Hi, I'm your VTuber Senpai and that is it for today's video. Don't forget, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I would love to see your beautiful faces in the chat. Come on by, say hi, and well, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.